Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here. Just got a scene. We are the Millers. Now, one thing I want to talk about first was, you know, this is one of those movies where like they had a million different trailers for it, and you know, the trailers have been playing for months, and you know, a lot of people like wonder, you know, with a movie like this, did the, you know, that they gave everything away, and I don't, I didn't would say they didn't. I would say, you know, a lot of the big jokes and things like that. Yes, some of them were given away, you know, by the trailers, and these are some of these kind of movies where sometimes I almost wish I didn't see all the trailers, because they give away a couple things, and, you know, besides the point, though, I really thought this was a pretty fun movie, kind of reminded me of, like, uh, like, you know, those classic road movies, you know, like National Lampoon's Vacation, those kind of things, the basic idea is, Jason Sudeikis is this small-time drug dealer that kind of deals from his house, and has, like, a small supply, and he notices uh, Emma Roberts' character, you know, getting picked on by these people in the alleyway, he goes to help her, and the kid who lives in the, in the building goes to help too, and what ends up happening is the kid ends up saying, oh, you, don't, don't, you should be afraid of him, he's a drug dealer, and these guys end up stealing all of his money and his supplies, and Ed Helms' character, you know, makes Jason Stakes' character go to Mexico to pick up all this marijuana, and the idea is, you know, he doesn't know how he's going to do it, and if he doesn't do it, Ed Helms' character is going to kill him. So he gets the kid, you know, the nerdy kid in the house, in the apartment building, Emma Roberts' character, who, you know, he helped, and Jennifer Anna's character, who lives in the building as well, who's a stripper, and they all kind of act as a family and go to Mexico in an RV to try and get over the border and pick up the marijuana and then get back and, you know, get back to untraced. Because if he goes himself, there's no way he's going to get through, and there's no way he's not going to get searched with the amount of marijuana that he's bringing back. I don't know, though. I, I thought it was a fun movie. It's one of those movies, too, where, you know, it's tons of things going wrong. You know, they get over there, all the kind of issues that happen along the way, and, you know, there's some double-crossing kind of things going on. Just all that kind of stuff going on in it. I just thought it was a really fun movie. Really thought it was a lot... I liked it a lot more. Like, the, my, in my opinion, though, like, the best comedy that I've seen in a really long time was the to-do list. I thought that one was extremely funny. But to me, though, I think this is one of, in my, I would say, my favorite J Jason Sudeikis film that he's done. At least one of the top ones. I thought it was really funny. But Emma Roberts did a good job. I just thought it was a funny movie and about these kind of people having to play this role as a family. And I really like the, um, the characters that they run into along the way. Um, you know, you've seen some of that stuff in the trailer with them swinging in the trailer and the camping tent. That stuff was really pretty funny. I just thought this was a really fun movie. Uh, you know, I've seen some people posting that it looks bad and things like that. To me, I just thought it was definitely something I would recommend checking out. If you wanted to see a silly, fun, kind of positive too kind of movie with, you know, just the whole vibe of the movie, I, I would definitely recommend checking it out. So anyway, though, guys, thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Let me know below what you think of We Are The Millers. I'll see you guys later. Bye.